Welcome back. This is tutorial three of the how to program the core wave state series. Um, this time we're going to look how to into how to use the core wave state as a subtractive uh, synth for simple uh, sounds. Just so without the wave sequencing mod module, there are a few things you need to know. Uh, it's not really hard to do, uh, but there are lots of possibilities again. Uh, uh, that you can apply to those subtractive sounds. So uh, let's start. As usual, we start with the init performance patch, the one that we know so well with the Sin and Sawtown sounds. So basically it uses two, two samples uh, and it morphs between them. Now, the first thing we have to do is to get rid of that morphing and make sure that it only selects one sample. So let's do that. Uh, press the wave sequence tab. It has to be activated. If you are really convenient now with the core wave state, you don't have to check that because you probably will have selected that. But uh, press the first button and go to the sample lane and press the first button again. And you will see that uh, the sign sound uh, is on step one and the saw sound is on step two. But we only want to use the sin uh, sound, the first sample. Uh, because we are going to use it as a subtractive synth with uh, one ordinary sample. So how do you do that? Press the timing button and press uh, the first step again. Now you go in the timing lane, now you will see the timing lane step uh, page and go to the type par parameter. Uh, basically that says for each step what kind of type uh, step that is. And we want uh, that it stops you have node, rest and gate. Um, we want that it stops at this step. So basically we add a gate that it don't go to step two. Uh, so set the step one parameter to gate and press the timing button again and set the X fade to off. Now when we play, it only plays sample one and it stays there. So now we, have, now we have a basic synth, a subtractive synth uh, with a synth sound. And of course, um, we can change that sample by pressing the sample button, step one. And here we can select the sample that we want to use uh, for that subtractive synth. So we want a square. For instance, this one, Wave Guru Saw DSP, that's a nice saw sound. Um, so let's um, do some basic um, synth editing, subtractive uh, synth editing on this sound. So let's start by uh, using the cutoff, a little bit of resonance, and for instance, we could create well, let's create a bass sound out of this. So we do that by going to the filter envelope, go to the uh, to the section, set the sustain to zero, a little bit of release for the node off uh, feature, and set the env inter intensity to maximum. So now we can modify it. And basically we are painting the subtractive synth with this um, specific filter behavior now. And if you want to create a pet sound, well, then we are not going to do this kind of things with the filter. So let's set the envelope to zero again. And now we have the possibility in the amp envelope to set the ADSR. And set an LFO tempo synced. 
Add some reverb to it. We like the behaviors. Select a different kind of uh, sample. to uh, the collection parameter and select something of plugin go which are quite good samples let's use this one with a bit more release So that's how you use the Korg Wave State as a subtractive synth. Um, I'm not going to explain how to do basic synth editing. There are so many tutorials online that uh, explains that. Um, so let's do it again. Select an init performance. You have the standard sound. You want to change that. Press the Wave Sequence tab, the Timing tab step and press the first uh, element, go to type, set it to gate. Now it only plays a synth sound. Press the timing again, go to crossfade, set it to off. And there you go. Now go to the sample page, press first step again, and select your sample that you want to that you want to use. And then uh, do the things you want. 